All right. That is like 15 inches by 18 inches. Gonna make that into a otter toilet to set on a dock. So those are both number three traps. That one's a dogless. That one is not so dogless. So plan is fill it with some potting soil because you can't find uh, peat moss this time of year. Go figure. It's morning time today is the first, so opening for trapping. And I went to the dock, set these up, realized I left my uh, drowner weights at the house. So, yep, just hook them up to the drowner weight, put that on the dock, got to use some pan covers, and then you wait. So we'll see what happens. All right, guys, Bowsinger Outdoors. So I am on the dock, getting ready to set for otter. Made me a box that is uh, 15 inches by 18 inches. And what I'm going to do is make this into a, a mock otter toilet. So I'm going to bury two number three traps in there. It fits it perfectly. I uh, have my drowner cables, which are going up over the bowl rail. So that way my weight is on that side. So that way when an otter gets trapped, first thing they're going to do, they're going to jump that rail. And they're going to go into the water. And when they go in the water... They're going to pull all that slack and they're going to pull this weight right down in the water and then game over. So I uh, got a couple pan covers I'm going to be putting on there and couldn't find any peat moss. So I got potting mix, whatever. It was five bucks. So I'm going to go ahead and get this going. It's starting to snow. Uh, yeah, I'll turn you back on in a few. All right, let's see. This one is the dogless trap so we'll get that set all right bring it down to night latch this is a new trap just got this one and i'm gonna have this one going this way with the chain over there gotta make sure i get enough soil in the bottom to be able to somewhat bed these things. I know it ain't going to be perfect, but you're not going to find dry, find dry dirt where I live. So I can't even make wax dirt. It'd take me forever to get the dirt dried up. Be able to do that. Chain back on this side. There we go. That one feels good. Okay. Trap number two. I'm gonna go the opposite direction. Chain off to that side. All right, let's see. Put a little bit underneath the levers. There we go. That feels better. All right. I don't have pan covers for number threes and I don't have uh, any other uh, like freezer paper or anything with me. So we're just going to put some of these on there. These are for much smaller traps, but that's all right. I don't even have any reason to use these anymore because I don't do that kind of trapping anymore. I don't have coyotes or bobcat here. We'll just go like that. Fold that one down to there. Pull that up. There we go. So that's pretty much how my traps are going to be bed. Now, I'm just going to throw a little bit more of this on top. Make the otters think that they can have their way with crapping all over my stuff and then punishment time, hopefully. So, actually, I didn't use up as much of this potting soil as I thought it was going to, but that's all right. This guy's nice enough to let me trap on his dock, so. All right, that's that. Now my bag wants to blow away. 
So now I'm just gonna take my down cable. I'm just gonna kind of pull this up somewhat snug, get all my excess, pull it underneath, kind of coil it up as best as I can. And I'm just gonna set that hook right on top of it, right next to the edge, just like that. And this dock will get to rocking. So, but I think we'll be okay right there. You know, 80 mile an hour winds, 100 mile an hour winds, whatever. I think we'll be okay. And if not, well, I'm not gonna lose my traps. They're secured to this bull rail pretty good. So, twisting that. Put the cable underneath, hook right on the edge. That one on. Actually, we're gonna turn these around going that way. There we go. Do the same over here. Turn it around. All right, there we go. I think we're gonna roll with that, guys. So, yeah. Hopefully, uh, I know this ain't the best for keep them water off of stuff but this is the best i could do with what i got so we'll give it a go all right oh now i hear the geese cool had to make a special uh box cover for trapping in the yard i don't want to get the neighbor's cat and the dryer's going off now that Conner bear. I'm gonna wind up turning it over and putting a rat trap in there. And then it goes back like that. Fold the nails down. There you go. Cat proof. <laughs>